Talk to me. Hey y'all, I made it. I think my outfit and hair and everything turned out good. I feel chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. First one did it. Hi. Exactly what I'm recording. Cause he, he, and I told her, I said, girl, girl, get on with that ugly outfit. And she said, um, you should know he bought it. Hmm. This is gorgeous. And the material, hold on, can you see me better right here? Y'all. I don't know. Look at the, look at the little. Hey, y'all. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. I'm the show Trans, looking a mess this is literally what my hair looks like under my wigs anyways so i'm in a rush like girl i tried to take a nap so one of the girls from the um, event that i went to last week or the week before child whenever it was that ltk event she dms me um and was like uh, do you want to go to this tart event where you invited? I said, no, I wasn't invited. And she was like, well, let me see if I can bring a plus one and um, you can come with me. Y'all, so I'm going. So I have two hours to be ready. Um, this is how the shoe looks. When she put it on, she cute. I forgot all about these. Oh, the theme is cowboy. Uh, cow gore, cowboy something. Anyway. So, these are the only shoes that I have because I was like, damn, I don't have no cowboy boots. But then I reminded myself, come back, come back, that I ordered these for a festival. Sis, I should have ordered the pink ones. But anyway, so I ordered these. I don't have nothing black and white. I thought I had a black and white graphic tee because that was the thing. I would, I wanted to wear like a crop top, this with like a dress, like a skirt. But then I was like, I want to wear a... Um, I want to wear a uh, like a maxi, a long maxi skirt, like big with ruffles, plaid, like a print or whatever with a graphic tee. With that, I have no maxi skirt. Where did I get this uh, thought from? I don't know. Then I was like, bet, let's just do denim because all cowboys wear denim, right? So I could wear this, but then this denim doesn't match this. But y'all know I got a a denim on denim bag but it's really not that denim and then I have this is the only maxi skirt that I have I thought I bought this bl big black maxi skirt that's long as hell and I didn't buy it what was I thinking I did not buy it so I have this maxi skirt but the denims again y'all the denims don't match I'm trying to show up and show out especially because I was a plus one like how did you not where, where how did you forget the invite for me no, I'm playing. I don't really be involved in the community for real, y'all. And then um, nobody really knows where I'm located. I don't have it like plastered on my thing. So I wouldn't expect an invite from anybody because you don't even know that I'm here. So what if I do this? These are my little free people shorts with this. Why do I keep this going to make me mad? I keep snatching it like it's a whole boot and it's not with the little boots and a blazer that's that's what i was thinking but maybe not those shorts maybe like just some regular y'all i'm a mess i literally threw all of this right here because so what if i do this a little blazer this a little white crop and then this throw on some jewelry keep it simple yet fun yet classy because it's a blazer it's an oversized blazer at that um from free people so I think I could do that. I really want to wear a skirt. The sun is trying to come out, but it's supposed to rain as well. And it did not say if this event was outside. This with the boots, with a little one, two. But I really want it to be like, ooh. I got this little free people thing that I was thinking, and then I could wear it with the boots, with denim boots. But then I don't have anything else to tie in the denim. like. No, ma'am. It's nothing else. I don't have a denim hat, like a denim cowboy hat. If I would have had a denim cowboy hat, that would have been on point. Y'all, then I forgot about this. This, y'all, okay. Okay, let's scratch, let's scratch that little blazer for right now. So what if I do this? I have been itching to wear this for years now. I bought this at Zara Cell about three years ago. Have never worn it. It's saying cowboy, cowgirl, right? It matches perfectly. Y'all, we're, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. What, what type of bottoms? 
what type of bottoms because shorts do i wear shorts do i wear these shorts do i wear these what kind of shirt top do i put underneath it i'm not good at layering that's cute that's cute then i got this denim top from zara i think everything i have is from zara at this point this but then i don't want to be too plain i'm trying to again y'all show up and show out y'all then i got this top from zara too Ooh, does that match the denims the hell no so no to that but this denim top is cute but i have to have like cowboy boots i just refuse to not have the cowboy boots on because when else am i gonna wear them boots like i just literally bought them for no reason at this point this little t half top was cute but again y'all the denims don't match so we gonna we gonna mix that then I got this denim top, y'all. What, what is up with me and these Zara denim tops? Then I got this one, but again, it does not match. It does not match the boot. So, these are all the denim tops we are scrapping. We're scrapping that. We can still kind of do these. I'm going to try these on. I think these were a tad bit big. Okay. So, right now, we're leaning towards this. Like, this is the moment. I just need to find a top. Do I do a crop? Y'all, my hair hurts. I don't even know how my hair is about to look. So it's between that and a blazer. So we're scratching the maxi skirt, right? We're going to scratch the maxi skirt. Or what if I do this? Ooh, y'all, what if I do this with the maxi skirt? Okay. This in the maxi skirt. But then the boots, the, the, the stuff don't match like that. I'm going to have to try it on. But the denims, can you see that? Y'all, the denims is just off a little bit, but it's blue in the top, so it kind of brings it back. We'll try that on. Well, I'm going to try it on. First, I'm going to do the, that with that. I'm going to try this on with the skirt. I don't know what type of top. Maybe just a crop top. I have no top to put under that. I don't have no fun top with a print because that's really what I want to do. Okay, so we got it narrowed down. If this don't work, y'all, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Why do I keep doing this? I hate when people do this, and that's what I'm doing. Because it's I didn't took a shower. I need to find out what I'm going to do with my hair. Okay, y'all. My house is a mess. I, my wig is everywhere. Everything is just everywhere, child. Okay, this is what I came up with. Yes, I didn't already wore this little top. But the little crop top didn't match. Then I'm thinking I could just wear this jacket open. Just because it's like the vibe. Wear this hat. I got the boots that I'm thinking is bag just to bring in color. I don't know. <sighs> Child. I don't know, but I got to hurry up. I'm down. Like the time, the time crunch is real right now. And I don't even have my hair done. Is this it? Is this it? Like, are we doing this with the boots? You can't see the boots. You can't see the boots. And... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. What am I about to do? This is it. Cause the blazer trash. It was ugly. With the shorts. Oh my goodness. I, I, I didn't. I don't even look like a fashion influencer. If I wear that, I don't look like a fashion influencer. You'll be like, who, who did you invite? Who, who is this plus one? Who, who is she? So yeah, I was looking. I was looking toe up from the flow up. Girl, that's so old. Toe up from the flow up, child. Um, the other everything I tried on that I thought was an idea. Yeah, I was toe up for the flow up. So this is the, I'm gonna have to cut these things. Anyway, I'm about to hurry up, throw on a wig. I was gonna do that curly wig that's sitting over there, but I don't think that'll go with the hat. I think I wanna do long and flowy. Okay, sis, so for this hair, it looked like I got big boobs, but I don't. It looked like it's something there, but it's not, so don't worry. Anyway, um, what was I about to say? Oh, and y'all, my bumps, my acne journey for my chest that stuff does work it has allowed it to like come down a little bit like they were raised and just irritating um but they have like died down i really just need to get the aloe vera to in the stuff to like lighten the dark marks up and i think i'll be good like i've been using it every day at least twice a day um i haven't did the three days the three times a day yet because i just hadn't found the time anyway if you just wanted to update since they just fallen out girl 
double D's. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, so hair for hair. So I was thinking, well, I just told you I'm not gonna wear this, wear this curly wig, but I just want to see what it looks like with the hat. I'm really thinking with a hat, it should be flowy. We just that's the rough draft. Okay, look, and then a hat. Oh, this one might eat, but I'm not picturing, I'm not feeling cute. You think, you think so? What is that? Okay, that's the string. You think so? The curly may eat though. Big hair with the, I'm not feeling the curly, y'all. I'm not envisioning it. If I can't envision it, it just can't happen. The flow, the curly hair with that, I'm not feeling elegant. I'm not feeling elegant. Let me think. Not that curly hair isn't elegant because y'all know my hair is natural. Like I love my big hair. Anyway, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm thinking, envisioning, like uh, that's so Raven tunnel vision. Yeah, it's not there. It's not there. This ain't it. This ain't it. We not doing that. So, no, let me make sure my. Um, Y'all, I just was wearing this little half, not a half wig, but the little thing, if y'all saw my reel and I had like the little updo and some down, it was like a little um, V part unit. Should I do a V part unit with a swoop? Should I do a V part unit with a swoop and then throw the hat on? I don't even know where that unit is at. Okay, next plans, the next idea. Cause I don't have the time to be looking for that unit. Okay, I just got this unit. The only kicker is it. Um, the only kicker is this does not hold a curl. Look how it looks. I wore this last week and it just not. It doesn't hold a curl whatsoever. So yeah, we not. And it's like gloomy outside. It's supposed to rain. I don't know if the event is outside, but this is how I'll be, I, I would be walking around, looking up like a wet dog, like a wet dog. Um, and and I, I, I just ain't about to have it. So, okay, next, next, uh, it's another curly. That would be cute with the, um, but I don't want to do, I'm not envisioning curly, but just given the, the color for the outfit, this little, y'all think so? Y'all think I should do this? With the red, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I'm not feeling curly. I'm already, it's already wet and gloomy. Then my hair get wet, then I'm really gonna be feeling like a wet dog. What if I do bangs? Should I do bangs? That'll be real cute. Three hours later. Okay, y'all, so I decided on a wig. It's just the same wig that I wore to the event the last time. I guess this is just like my safe, the wig, I have my Love Me Hair wig, but I forgot, like I said, I need to start writing on the box, like which wigs I know fit my head and work, um, because that Love Me Hair one, good quality hair, beautiful lace, but that wig is so damn tight. Like sis, my head is too big. I need to start asking these people before they send me units, how big is the wig cap? Cause honey, that thing, it was, it, I'll have a headache before I get to the event and then I'll wanna leave and then it'll be a waste of my time. So anyway, this is my little safe wig. Um, Y'all, I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous because the girl that invited me, she knows everybody. She knows everybody. She's been on the scene before there was a scene. Like she made the scene. She is uh, one of the originators in the city um, that when I wasn't as big as I am now, um, I wanted to like uh, go to her events that she set up. This was before TikTok, before Instagram was like real big or whatever. And I was like, oh my goodness, she's going to fashion week and blah, 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 right? And when I met her, I was like, oh my goodness, you're such and such. You know, all of the OG people, I'm not gonna say fell off, but I hadn't seen them as much since this whole TikTok thing. And now everybody wants to be a creator and an influencer or whatever. So I hadn't really seen her in a minute so i'm like oh my goodness she was like you see me before and i'm like yeah girl like i'm not no stalker or anything but i know i seen i couldn't put my finger on it i said i know i seen you before and then when she started telling me like what she does and whatever i'm like oh my goodness you are that girl and she was like yeah so 
she is the person who invited me so i say that to say she knows everybody please don't leave me i hope she does not i mean if she leaves me i did good at the ltk event to like meet different people or whatever so hopefully i just you know if she does venture off and leave me hopefully i just mingle with another group or whatever because seemingly if she can bring a plus one i imagine that everybody else can bring a plus one as well um, but I'm so grateful that she invited me like uh, she was real sweet at the LTK event um, and I talked to her and then I only talked to her for a little while like I sat there and I talked to her for a good minute we sat and ate and then she ventured off to the people that she knew you know um, and then I got back around to her again and we talked um, towards the end like we talked for a long time me her and another girl um, and I just thought she was so cool like I liked her so I'm so grateful um, that she invited me along and didn't forget me because she told me that she would invite me to some events uh, like around the city since I'm not really like involved in the city. Um, she was like, yeah, I'll invite you to some um, events or whatever. And if I know somebody, I'll plug you in. Like she is so sweet. You know how some people be like, yeah, I'll do this and I'll do that. Um, and it's just all talk, you know, she's really because she has really been like hitting me up, letting me know the events around the city. And I'm such a homebody. Y'all know my, my only friend is my mama for real. And by choice, like I can have friends if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna say I don't have friends. I have people, right? I do have friends, but I really don't hang out with anybody. Like if you try to get me to come out, uh, no, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And I almost did that today. I almost said, oh, it's okay, girl. Like. I just really wanted to hang out because I had told my mom, I asked my mom if she had wanted to go um, shopping because I wanted to look for some more beaded bags. And I started to be like, girl, no, I'm okay. I'm just going to hang with my mama today. I'm trying to get out of my shell, y'all. I'm trying to get out of my shell because I will for me in a heartbeat. Like, I'm just hanging out with my mom. Like, I, that's all the friend I need is my mama. I don't need no friends for real. Um, Yeah. Like, if I get bored, I'll call my mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what's tea? Anyway, so moral to this story is I am so glad I am starting to get out of my shell and open up a little bit more um, and starting to, like, meet people. It's kind of scary. I'm still nervous, even though, you know, like I said, I know her. But I don't know her like that. Uh, so this could be the start of a good little friendship even if it's not a friendship because people i noticed like on tiktok and stuff um and just in general of watching these reality tv shows you think somebody is your friend and they'd be like girl just because we hung out once or twice like we just cool we just vibe and we i wouldn't say we're friends and it was like i was watching what what is that show with des and uh, ari Ari, I believe it is. I don't really, I know who Ari is, but I don't really know everybody else. They're like the girlfriends of the girlfriends. The show that Jada was on, but she not on, on anymore. Atlantic Station shit, I don't know. But anyways, Young Thug's um, baby mama, or no, not baby mama, ex-girlfriend, thought her and Dez was friends. <laughs> and Dez was like, girl, just cause we hung out in the studio, we not friends like that. I don't know you like that. She's like, dang, we was vibing. Like we went out, I guess they went out or whatever. Don't quote me. Cause I wasn't really paying attention to the show. It was just on, it's not like my my theme to watch that show. Um, but yeah, and I was just like, oh damn. I don't know if it's more to the story or what, but it was like, dang. Y'all yeah, was vibing. She thought it was something there. Like y'all could have been friends. Like y'all was friends because y'all was in the studio for whatever amount of time, days, hours, whatever. Like it'd be a slap to your face when people be like, that's not my friend. We just associates. Oh, oh okay. So I don't want to be like, oh, start to a friendship if, you know, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to take it for what it is be grateful that she invited me and hopefully i have fun tonight meet some more people meet some more of us girl oh i'm down to an hour child meet some more of us um and just vibe you know just vibe out with everybody see what's about to be popping y'all can't talk i gotta I gotta hurry up. But I just want to let you know that I found a wig. Hopefully the outfit 
looks right once I put everything on. Cause right now, I'm not envisioning it, okay? It, right now, let me stop, cause y'all probably think I'm stupid. <laughs> right now, I'm not envisioning it. Right now, I can't see it. Right now, it's, so I may have to change my outfit last minute. Y'all, so my mom just called me to inform me um, that she is in a tornado um, watch right now. And she said, am I still going? There's a, a tornado coming. We're under a tornado watch. She's at the store and they told her to go to the back of the store. And she was like, I don't know if I should leave here. She's at the grocery store. She's like, I need groceries, but I don't know if I should leave. She was like, are you still going to go? And I was like, well, we ain't in no tornado watch over here but y'all i've been hearing this boom 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 right boom 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 girl maybe i have been hearing it i just ain't the the call saying like there's something coming i guess that's the call with the little boom 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 whatever i have been hearing that but girl i'm over here doo -doo -doo, getting ready oh okay so there's a tornado coming so i just um hit the girl up and asked if she's still going she said let me check the weather it's only slightly overcast where i am okay let me know i uh, let me know i'm i was almost ready and now i'm deciphering how do you spell deciphering <sighs> girl I'm sad I mean not that my outfit was all the way together anyway but it's just the point do I go and I risk life and limb because where I'm, where I'm, where I have to drive to to get to the event, um, the roads, because it's like telling you which highways um, or whatever, I have to take that highway. She said where she's at is just slight whatever. I have to take the highway, uh, and that highway was one of the ones that was on the thing saying it's gonna be at this time here, right? And to get in a low spot, y'all. I am not trying to get sucked up for no tarp. Okay, I'm not trying to get sucked up to try to go to this brand event, even though I really want to go. I don't know what I'm about to do. And then I'm mad because uh, I didn't got up and put on this makeup, child. I was in the bed sleep, minding my business. Well, I was going to go to the store, but when she hit me up, I was like, bet I'm going to go or whatever. I do not want to waste this space. Like, I want to go somewhere. But if we're in a, a thing, she sent me a picture. Flood watch. These conditions are expected to last until 7 a.m. I'm still going. It's not supposed to start back up until 8 p.m. Y'all, let me go watch the news again. Let me decide. A few hours later. Okay, y'all, I made it. I think my outfit and hair and everything turned out good. I just contacted the girl she says she is 10 minutes out so i'm about to just walk up she says she's valeting i'm not valeting because i literally parked right across the street from the hotel for ten dollars so all i gotta do is walk across the street and i'm there y'all again and I've, I've been over here before when my brother um for his birthday dinner so and i parked so like literally right there so it's not a far walk at all again y'all i'm nervous I am so nervous, but hopefully we have us a good time. Okay. Do we know him? Hi. Good. <laughs> because damn, he was in my face, y'all. I guess because I'm recording, but still, shit. Okay.
a few hours later. Y'all, I had so much fun. I overstayed per usual because I was making connections. I ended up talking to this girl that is on the team. Um, and she was another one of us. And she said she loves to see us there. And she is the person for the for the team or whatever. And she's from Africa. She's African, y'all. It just, it was just so much fun. Um, but she got my contact to invite me to other events because you know I was a plus one. Um, I met the owner of Tarte, y'all. I'm out of breath. I really should have ballet like um, K, but I didn't. So I gotta pay $10, but that's okay. My feet hurt and I'm wearing cowboy boots. But anyways, I had so much fun. And I'm trying to record just in case somebody pops out on me. I don't know what good this will do. Anyhow, we'll have the person, the person who did it. Hi. Exactly why I'm recording. Cause he, he, yeah. We hurry up. It was so hot. It started raining. My hat was flying. Everybody thought my outfit was cute. Hold on, can y'all see me? You can't see me. I'm out of breath. Everybody thought I was cute. It's a flash flood warning. My mom is just texting me saying it's a flash flood warning, a tornado watch, it's a hailstorm. <sighs> yeah. The next day. A number one only cheese and ketchup with an orange Fanta. Y'all, I am currently um in line to get some water burger i have to tell y'all all about um yesterday whenever i get home i uh literally just came out because i have not eaten eaten have not eaten all day it is 154 i actually just want to run out to the store real quick to look for um the bag um this is the little damage i have to show y'all everything i got when i get home because it was definitely a lot i don't when i say i look a mess child i'm not even matching it's tangles in his hair like yeah but i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna get my little water burger and then um go to this next door real quick and then go home and then i'm gonna show y'all what else what else i got okay y'all i'm back home when well, i say i'm tired sis i am tired so i stayed up to the crack of dawn last night because the storm was just the storm was stormy. I could not see anything on my way home. I had to call my mom for a prayer that I make it home safe because I couldn't see anything. Everybody was on the highway with um, their uh, four ways on because you couldn't see the next person ahead of you. Some people was driving in and out like, you know, they just they just knew, right? Um, and then my thing was, because it's a... It's either a four or five lane highway. I can't remember. I want to say it was five. So I'm driving the second to the right or whatever. Why are people, th this whole, when it, it was nobody there, don't drive next to me. Y'all are scared. Like the, these big semi trucks, why are you driving next to me speeding? So as soon as they came, I said, I need to get over. I only had one more lane to get over, you know? Um, and mind you, this is a five lane highway. So I'm like, why would he drive? The semi pulled up next to me, girl. When I say I, I already couldn't see, right? And I'm on the phone with my mom just panicking. They drive past me and just, I had to stop. I had to stop, cause why? Why, why? Five lanes, get over to the next lane. Why would you even, and then speeding around me, I'm not in the, I'm basically in the slow lane. Cause I take the, I always say that the last, you know, whatever lane is for people who are about to get off on the exit, whatever. And then I'm in the next lane. So yeah, I'm in the slow lane. God, leave me alone, child. Anyway, it was just, I was panicking, right? But I had a good time. I had a good time at the little, at the thing or whatever. I had such a good time. I had to text her to make sure she made it home safe because it was atrocious. And then the two girls, when we were in the elevator, I didn't record, but they were talking about going um, downtown to get some drinks. So, uh, Kay, uh, my friend was like, um, y'all heard that, my friend. Anyway, uh, cause we talked about that. But um, she was like, uh, y'all seen the weather like 
the weather is about to get real bad or whatever. They had already closed down the inside, the outside. So we had to stay inside because it was getting, it was pouring down raining. Uh, we were under a tornado watch. So it was like, nope, we're going to Broadway. Cause they had, girl, some people were so drunk because it was an open bar that one lady had bumped into me and then she kind of like stumbled. I said, well, damn. So then the girls in the elevator was like, they should have made it an open bar like that. Everybody was toasty. They were lit. Um, so yeah, they went and as soon as I made it to my car, um, and I came out of the garage, it was pouring, it was pouring. So I had made it to the, gar the car garage right on time. I should have had laid, um, but I didn't, but I made it right to my car right on time. I don't even know. And they said they needed to take an Uber and they stayed like 30 minutes out uh, from downtown and they needed to take a Uber or whatever. And they didn't want to call the Uber right now. So I don't know how they because they didn't have a vehicle. I don't know how they made it or what they did. Hopefully they made it home safe. But I networked. Um, Kay, she's a very genuinely nice person, y'all. And everybody thought like I knew her. Um, I met two other uh, black girls or whatever and I just walked up to them and was like, girl, what's up? Hey, how you doing? You know, um, it was just so funny. And I sat and you, you, you would have thought I knew these people. So then I met... Um, so towards the end, because Kay was like, you need to network, you need to go meet the CEO of, the, you know, Tarte Cosmetics. So I was like, bet, okay, Kay does this stuff, right? She does, she wants to be a talk show host or whatever. So she does this. She was like, I want to interview her. So all of the big heads are sitting at the table. And Kay's like, let's go. Who going? Because I'm not. I said, Kay, it looked like they have an important conversation. Like, sis, let's just leave them alone. So she's like, okay, I'll give it a second. So she gave it a second. Um, and then we went over there. And then I held the camera for her so she can do her interview with her. And then she was like, you're up. Go. And then I just, I went over. And I said, hey, how you doing? I just, I don't even know. I didn't even know. We started talking about nails. I was, she was like, your nails are cute. And I was like, your nails are cute too. And then she started talking about my outfit that she thought my outfit was so pretty. All the girls thought my outfit was cute. People were saying I look like Britney Spears at the VMAs. Everybody was just really into my outfit, despite it being like boho-ish, whatever. It was cute. Um, but yeah, we started talking about outfits and stuff like that. Um, I didn't really get into like, put me on your PR list, put me on your team, stuff like that. I just want to gradually, Kay just said, make conversation. And that's what I did. We laughed, chuckled, ha, ha, ha. And then we took a picture and it was cute. So then after that, um, she was like, now you need to find somebody on a PR team. So that's what I did. I found somebody on a PR team. The girl actually came up to me um, because we were people of color and she was black too. Um, so she was like, I just love to see my people, period, because it's not a lot of us out there. She said exactly the same. So she said, are y'all two friends? Now, Kay is mingling with her other people because she's a socialite. So she knows everybody of all shades and colors. So she's over there mingling, right? And I'm just over here with the two girls that I had met. And she was like, are y'all friends? And we were like... I said, no, we just met today. She was like, shut up. I would have thought that y'all were friends. And I was like, no, we're not. Um, we know, but they cool. Like we just met. She was like, what did you say when you walked up to him? I said, hey, I just want to sit right here because y'all my people and I found my people and 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 we need to talk about it. <laughs> like, And she started laughing and that's literally what I said. I said, hey, I found my people and I just want to sit here. How you doing? I just went over there and sat and just start talking. And we literally, I didn't follow them. Um, I, I kind of just, I kind of just follow Kay and she just kind of introduced me to her people. Cause again, she's a socialite. Um, and then I kind of sat back, let her do her own thing. I sipped on my drink and then that's when I met the girls and I just went over there and I just, I really was just vibing the entire night and Kay kept up with me. Like our, we kept up with each other. She didn't just like leave me out and go to her friends. She always included me, which was so sweet of her. Cause you know, she didn't have to, cause she knew almost everybody there. Um, but yeah, she was very, she is so nice y'all. She is so nice. We exchanged phone numbers cause we didn't have each other's number at first. We were just communicating through Instagram. Um, so then I told the other two girls, I said, y'all need to network. Cause they kept, what did I tell y'all? Whenever you have a plus one, you kind of, uh, stay with your plus one and that's what they did stay with each other and Kay was like I told them you need to network and Kay was like you're one to talk <laughs> like I'm telling you the same thing and then I told them I said you know I just met Kay two weeks ago she was like shut up I thought y'all were like friend friends I was like no I just met her two weeks ago but you would never know like we just like vibe you know when you just click with somebody you just click you would have never knew that I just met any of those girls 
like K two weeks ago. Her the girls. I'm seeing some more of the girls that came to the LTK event. I seen some more of them. So everybody is like it's such a small circle, um, especially for people of color. So I seen the same girls at this um, Tart event, and it was like it's good to see you again. Um, and then one of the girls I didn't get to speak to. Um, the last time she was like, I saw you at the LTK event. I didn't get to talk to you. I was like, same here. So we talked or whatever. And I was like, girl, uh, one of the girls told me last at the LTK event that you was on Married at Loved, Married at First Sight. And she was like, girl, yes. So then the other two girls were like, what? And we was like talking about her being on Married at First Sight. Girl, that is my show. I stopped watching it a long time ago. Um, but um, yeah, we just talked about her being on Married at First Sight because I wanted the tea. Did you stay married? She said no. Um, but she was real sweet too. But I did want the tea because I always wanted to know how how does it work? How, do you just get it annulled? Is it is it annulled? I don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say. Like, how does that work? You get married. And I was like, girl, did you kiss him on the first day? Because every time I watch the show, if you're like, if you're like attracted to him, you'd be like, let's kiss. But then if you're not, and maybe not so the girls that was always attracted just went ahead and just went all in. The girls that was like very like reservative, reservative is that reserved? They'd be like, uh, no, we just met. Let's not kiss or whatever. Cause I want to, I want to know. And I didn't watch the show. So anyway, so that was all that. And then, um, what else? The girl, the PR girl. So, um, towards the end, I told her, I said I was going to leave at six cause I knew the weather was supposed to get bad at seven ish. So I was like, I'm going to leave at six. Um, so I can beat the storm. I happened to stay there until like 6.30, closer to 7 or whatever. Because the uh, the PR lady came back around. She got my information. Because I was like, how do we, how, because I wasn't invited. I was a plus one. So I was like, how do I get invited? And she was like, girl, give me your information. She screenshots my stuff on her work phone. Um, so, you know we could she could reach out to me whenever they come back in town and to put me on the list and stuff like that so and then Kay told me to um tag the Tarte Cosmetics and the CEO um or whatever just to put my face put a name to a face and just to be like I'm here type deal y'all I feel like I love going to these brand events the other girl that I had just met um, says she's been to three already. Um, I love going to these things because I love meeting us. I love meeting everybody. So let me say that I love meeting everybody. Um, but I love meeting us because again, the community is so small. So whenever I can like, you know, get together with other people that look like me and do the same thing I do, I get so excited because again, y'all, it's just so small. The girl was saying how she's um, Nigerian or no, she's African. I don't know the difference, please, you know, um, no offense, but she's African and the other two girls were African as well. You could tell by their accent. So they had a lot to talk about because, you know, whatever. I mean, she asked me, was I African too? And I said, no. Hmm. I just the first time I didn't feel included <laughs> no I'm playing but um yeah she was like um she loves to see us too so it was just such a good time I feel like I made friends we exchanged information and stuff um so if ever they go to another brand event and I see their face I'll have familiar faces people to talk um to and if I just want to link up or whatever I could probably hit them up and just be like hey girl you know what I'm saying so that's always good. I've always wanted to meet somebody who does something like me. Like, it's a small community. But anyways, oh, and let me show y'all. They gave us these little goodie bags. I seen, I thought somebody left. I seen this at the bar, and I was like, somebody left their purse. And I didn't go through it. Um, I just thought somebody left their purse. And then they came around and was like, y'all, so this is their new plumping lip oil. Girl, so many I used this one last night and I did not know it was plumping, right? So we did like a little thingy. We did like a little thingy where you click it and then we did like a TikTok. I wish they would have allowed me to share it because I looked at cute. I was actually on their Instagram page. It was so cute. Me and the other two girls that I met. I would say go watch it. Or hold on. Y'all ain't never got my phone for real. I don't even know where my phone is at. But I'll show it to y'all. But anyways, I put this lip gloss on, child, and I start feeling burning, a burning sensation in my lip, like tingling. I was like, the hell? She's like, oh, it's plumbing gloss. And everybody was laughing. 
the hell what what's going on with my lips um but anyways so this is the stuff that i got today y'all i'm done shopping like i blame this shopping on um I blame this shopping on my birthday. Like, I need a birthday outfit. Oh, Mother's Day is coming up. Oh, I need to get my mom some outfits for my birthday. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, it's really getting out of hand. Like, I don't know. So, I got this bag because it looked like a Bottega dupe. I seen one on Fashion Nova that was red that I really, really, really wanted. Ordered it, right? And then, a few days later, I get a refund. The hell I'm getting a refund for? So, the amount was similar to the amount I paid for the purse. So I'm like, it better not be for that bag. It better not be for that bag. So I go search, cause they didn't tell me what they were refunding me for. It just said a refund. So then I went to my account and of course they refunded me for the red bag. I really, really, really needed a red bag. I do not need a green bag. I don't. Um, but since green has kind of been like my go-to, it's green and orange is my go-to in the summer. So I always, I'm not gonna say I always, but I kind of always get me like a new little green bag or like a new little orange bag because that's my color. And yeah, I had to get this. This was $29.99. I got it at Marshall. I think I told my mom to get me one for my birthday. I'm not sure. Or I think I got another one. Y'all, again, y'all, I've been shopping nonstop. So then I got this little Zara top. I had one of my mom to get this top the other day. Um and she didn't get it. I didn't even get to try it on because, girl, as soon as I stepped foot in the store, literally two minutes later, they were saying that the store was about to close uh, due to a flash flood warning. Due to a huh? Because well, what? Cause, cause, listen, listen. I didn't see no water anywhere. Where is this warning? Where is the, the flood? Like, y'all playing. They closed the mall, y'all, at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. due to a flash flood warning. It's no rain. It's sun outside. Mm -hmm. It's sun outside. Uh, if it was a flash flood warning, because remember I told you the weather was bad yesterday, so I give you that. It is probably a flash flood warning. However, that that should have been last night. That means this mall should have never opened. Like y'all playing, quit playing with me. So that means y'all better not open up tomorrow, because it ain't go. It's not gonna um, soak up in 24 hours you know what i'm saying it's what what's there now is gonna be there tomorrow so y'all better close them all tomorrow and the next day and the next day because that water's still gonna be there like y'all playing i feel like during covid they play too closing them all at seven o'clock like stop playing um not during COVID, but after COVID. After everybody, it was no more six feet. Nobody cared about washing their hands no more. They didn't care about sanitizer. Nobody was wearing masks anymore. Like when it was legitimately like over and Walmart's still closing at 11 o'clock, cause why? Uh, the store is still closing at seven o'clock, cause why? Walmart opening up at seven o'clock in the morning instead of being 24 hours. Oh, okay, cause why? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just crazy to me what the world be doing. Anyways, y'all. So then I got this. I'm deciphering between this because I like it, right? I do, but it's very dark colors and I kind of want it like a bright bag. But instead of me pondering about it, because I'm going to look in my closet to see if I have anything to go with this. Instead of me thinking about it and then trying to go back and get it when I know it's not going to be there, I just went ahead and got got it. I kind of think I'm going to take it back because one of my, I kind of wanted something bright, but I really did like the bag. So I got that. Oh y'all so i got this for my mom it's like a little knit top of course it's from zara and she was only five dollars y'all five dollars and i know my mom got some pink shoes to go with it so that's real cute then i got i thought i got i got her something else oh well, I got her this top as well. It goes with a pair of pants. I don't know if she's going to wear this because this is like doing the most for her. Like I know she's going to be like, oh my gosh, my arms are out. Because that's what she do. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if she likes it. Then I got myself this little top. It goes like this. Hold on. Ain't it cute? Um, Yeah, she's cute. Y'all, and I broke my necklace from last night that little boho necklace and i think at first i thought the spray was breaking me out right here i really think it's um, my necklaces because when i had that boho necklace on yesterday it irritated my skin and anytime i wear a necklace it irritates my skin so i want to say the jewelry is what's breaking me out so i don't know anyways then i got this everything's from zara by the way i got this little sheer little 
little piece. She's cute. Um, then I got this because I just thought this was going to be so cute with my fatigue cargos. And it ties up on the side. Like, she's cute. I'm trying to get into my girly era. So, I kind of just been wanting to get, like, girly tops instead of graphic tees. Y'all would be so proud of me. Like, I have not even walked over there to the graphic tees. And they had the graphic tees hanging up. This TJ Maxx that I went to was huge. They had all of the graphic tees hanging up. So, I see Nirvana, Nirvana, Nirvana. You get what I'm saying. Like, I seen all the tees and they look so nice. But I didn't even go over there. Because I said, I'm trying to get girly and I have too many graphic tees. Not that I'm going to stop wearing graphic tees because I'm not. But I'm just trying to get girly for right now. You know, for right now, I'm just trying to get a little girly. So then I got these. I really needed them in a size medium. But I kind of just stuck with the large until I find a size medium. These were $12. And then it goes with the top. How cute. How lucky was I? How much was this? $5.99 for the top. So that's real cute. And yeah, $12.99 for the bottom. It's like a little set. Then I got my mom this little knit. Y'all, y'all, she's so cute. I wish they would have had my size. But yeah, the girl that was ringing me up, she was like, you got so much cute things. I said, girl, yes. I don't know how the people that be working there don't be getting the goods. So then I got this, right? This was $12.99, like a little tweeted skirt. I didn't even try this on. It kind of looks like it's going to be big, but it flares at the bottom. And I just like the um, texture because when I was going to this little cowboy situation i wanted a big skirt if y'all don't remember me saying that i wanted a big skirt and i didn't have one so i saw this and i'm like let me get this because i think i can kind of like pin it up and give it like a shape so that's what i'm hoping to do i was i wanted to go to the thrift store and find one but i'm like Psh, i could just get this r one and i know there ain't nobody been in it not that anything's wrong with the thrift store but i'm just saying then I got me and my mom this skirt. So that's what that green top is going to be for. This little skirt. Ain't she cute? I got her one. And I got me one. And so mine's is going to go with this red top. Hold on. Mine's is going to go with the red top. And then hers is going to go with the green. So it would be like, you know, for my birthday, real cute, like matching type deal. Here's hers. And then the last thing that I got are these shorts because I needed some like ripped up shorts because I can't find my other ones. I don't know what I did with them. And again, yesterday I needed some shorts and I didn't have none. So here we here we have it. The next day. Y'all, I wish I was just recording. I'm sitting here waiting for my mom because she really just getting on my nerves. Um, anyway, I'm sitting here waiting for her. Oh my goodness, he's coming back. The dude just walks past, right? And I look up and I look back down at my phone, not paying attention. Then he's gonna bust out in harmony in a song. Now he's coming back, y'all. The audacity. Oh. If he seen. so funny anyway let me tell y'all what my mama did and so i was gonna take something back from to ross it was like this free people jumpsuit and i know she, it, i didn't really care for it but it was free people and i said she might like it so when she tries it on um she's like oh okay no excitement then i told her it was free people and then she's like okay i'll take it if you didn't like it before it was free people then what you want it for now right so in the midst of me trying to take it back She's like, um, didn't I say I wanted it? Oh, okay, girl. Well, fine. So I'm, we're in Burlington, and I show her, like, the stuff that I just got. And she's like, mm-mm, that's ugly. I didn't think none of it, right? I didn't think she was still salty about 30 minutes ago. Then I show her this little Nike thing that I got, and she's like, you only want it because it's Nike. Mm. Okay, are you salty? You salty. You still salty. Because I told you, then I told her, I said, girl, girl, get on with that ugly outfit. And she said, uh, you should know you bought it. Mm, touche. But I didn't style like that. Now, hmm. 
Now I text her and tell her that I was sitting out here waiting for her and she's nowhere to be found. I don't know where she where she is and she ain't text me back. She's just being salty, y'all. I'm just not in the mood. A few hours later. Y'all, we at TJ Maxx now. It's a little nippy outside. We're friends again. Right, Mom? <laughs> we're friends again. But yeah, we're about to go in here and take some more stuff in. All I want to hear is when every single we play, sit right next to you. Fork. I think she knew I was going to ask her for a fork because I'm assuming that they have a fork. But this looks so good. I didn't want it. Oh, my mom has a fork for me. So, girl, get your face out of my cookies. She had her face all the way in my car. Anyways, y'all, these are the, you see it? It's looking, it's looking good. You want to bite? A chocolate chip. Let's see. This one looks really good. Hold on. Okay. This one looks really good. Are you going to sample all of them? Hmm? Are you going to sample all of them? All of them? Yep, this is a good one. This is like an oatmeal chocolate chip toffee am i gonna sample all of them why you want to i don't want i don't want the last two okay mm -hmm. mom you can't do it with that fork now y'all look at her okay mom go you can't why are you eating wasting my fork mom do you know this cookie is too hard for a fork i didn't know it wasn't hard it's a cookie well i thought it was supposed to be moist you don't know how she is Wasted my good fork for that. Well, oh, this will break it off. Huh? It's just to break it off. Here, Mom. Well, I just used it to break off the cookie. I don't want it. Did you need it? I thought you was eating the cheesecake. No. I wasn't. I was just tasting these cookies. Here. I eat the cheesecake as a cookie. I don't know what you want me to do with this fork. Leave it in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know why. Did you want another piece? A chocolate chip. I'm just hungry. You did that foolery. You asked for a fork so you can eat the cheesecake. So mm -hmm. I gave you a fork. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying, oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to use the cheesecake. You know, this whole thing is good. Mm -hmm. Not the best cookie. Yeah, it's about the best cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just this cupcake or something cake. If you don't 
hand on me. Hmm? You don't put hand on me, that's the other fork. I'm gonna toss it out the window. <laughs> Leave it in the box. No, I'm good. I just, it's just in my way. It just make it look nasty. Oh, I told you to get that fork in the first place. Thank you, but no, thank you. You took it. I thought you needed it. I'm trying to take a picture of these cookies. Why am I always, maybe I'm always trying to like make sure my hair is right or something. Cause every time I get on camera, I'm always doing something to my head. Anyways, I'm back home. We about to wrap up my mama's gifts. Or before we wrap up my mama's Mother Day, Mother's Day gifts. I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Burlington. This little skirt, this is the skirt where she was like, you only want the skirt cause it's Nike and too. And, 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 and what you trying to say? Like, I mean, Anyways, we friends now, so no need to, you know, get into it. But yeah, it was cute. Girl, size large, because Nike be running small. Um, and this fits me really good, so I can't wait to, like, wear that with a little, probably a graphic. This is, and this is what she was like, was ugly. And I don't care, because it's just loungewear. So I have been looking at this little Reebok top for a minute. And I thought it was cute. I don't know. I'm going to have to wash it before I wear it. Because obviously somebody got some white stuff on it. But it was only $5.99, right? $5.99. And I was like, this is so cute. I'm going to have to try it on, though. So sh I'm not going to be able to wash it first. I have to try it on. And then today or whenever, they put out some Y'all, I just thought that was so cute. And she was like, <laughs> this is what she did, y'all. <laughs> no. I said, why not? She said, it doesn't even match. Coming from somebody who mix matches stuff all the time. I was just like, okay, mom. Then I asked her about the skirt because mind you, I didn't catch on that she was salty. <laughs> then I asked her about the skirt. And that's what she was like. You just want it because it's Nike. Okay, girl. I see we're still salty. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you alone, girl, because I, I ain't got the time. But I tried this on in the store. These fit. But I knew they was going to fit because they're stretchy. They're a size small. I'm really a medium. But they fit, y'all. $5.99. Again, it's just going to be loungewear. But I'm going to be cute, you know? Real cute for $12. And then the little skirt. We all want stuff because of the name brand. But some overalls. I have to show y'all the overalls. Um, the overalls. I'll show them to you when she wear them. Um, you wouldn't even know that they free people, but she excited. Um, this is the stuff that I got her for Mother's Day. So this little Nirvana top or whatever, because I think she needed something pink to go with her shoes. I'm not, mis I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive. Then I just showed y'all these little. Well, I didn't show y'all these. I was gonna say I showed y'all these this morning. That was on a whole nother vlog, cause yeah. Anyway, so then this little. Zara top and then this pink one because I know she needs it. She probably gonna be like this. The V cut is too low, but it's cute. This little knit. I didn't want to just get her clothes. She told me don't get her clothes, but I do it every single time. Okay, so then we have the little Zara skirt. This is more so for my birthday, so she'll have like a little fit for my birthday with the little tank that I know she probably is not going to wear. She'll probably wear it, but she'll probably put on like a jacket over it. Um, okay, girl, because I have to look at these notifications. I told y'all I have to, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, so this. She'll probably put like a little jacket on with it. Then I got her this Zara skirt, which I thought was so cute. They did not have my size, y'all. Look how cute this skirt is. It's long. I don't know where she gonna wear it, but this can be like another little thing. Do you think this, y'all, hold on. Maybe, no, the texture, but maybe she could get away with it. What if we did this? It's textured. I think she can get away with it because it's not like, I think she can get away with wearing this together. We're gonna package that as a fit. Cause it's it's giving like it matches. Like it'll be cute together. Even though it's like again like a textured top, it's not so sweatery. Maybe. 
I'll have her try it on. Maybe that'll be cute. Y'all, these were $69. Remember their pajama era where they were making, I mean, they still make stuff like this. This is so cute. I could not find these pants for me nowhere. Nowhere. Y'all know how many TJ Maxx's I looked at. So then, yeah, we got her this little pants set. Huh. With the with the kimono. Is that how you say it? Kimono? With the the pants with the kimono. It's gonna be cute. She has some really cute little looks for um the trip i don't know what this is oh well let's get the clothes out of the way the blazer the zara blazer we're gonna wrap that up for her she gonna be like i told you not to get me no clothes then i got her well i didn't get her this this was mine from the walmart haul y'all but since I remember I told you I got these in a small and I needed a medium, I went to get the medium. The medium was sold out. Then I was like, well, I could probably do large. And I thought about it and I was like, the small really does fit me. I just had to jump up a little bit. I know the large is probably going to be way too big if the small fit me just perfectly. I know I need a size medium. And then, I was, then when I was like, and then I need a large and a jacket. And then when I was like, okay, let me just get it. Y'all had already sold it out. Everything was sold out. And I was just like, damn. I try to get this stuff before I tell everybody because after I tell everybody, then it becomes sold out. So that's on me. Anyway, oh, I forgot I got her this too. So I got her this top, which I really wanted it for myself, but she needs more like tops. I'm not sure if she's gonna wear it though, cause it is mesh. So maybe she'll get it and try it on and be like, Ugh, it's mesh, I don't want it. And I'll be like, girl, you don't, get it here. But yeah, <laughs> then I got her these sandals to go with it, but I don't know if that's gonna go, but we'll see, right? These sandals are hard. I don't even know if they'll be comfy. So hopefully she tries them on and likes them. They was only $9.99. They're um, by Zara too. They're cute, but hard as hell. So yeah, y'all, just nothing but clothes. Oh, and then I got her these. Crocs, which I know she will look. Y'all, did that go with the shirt? Hold on. Not really. No. Hold on. It don't go, y'all. It don't go. It was almost. It was an almost. And then we got her some Coach perfume. Coach perfume. This is so cute. I really wanted this for myself, but mom comes first. Then, if y'all know, I had got her this bracelet that I wanted for myself again, but I went ahead and bought it for her because she really loves Coach. She cute, y'all. Okay, so then she got that bracelet. And then the last thing that we got her, y'all, I still have yet to order that power washer. She was talking to me about it today. I'm gonna get it though. It just ain't gonna be on, on time for Mother's Day. Um, and then I got her this auto bag, which again, y'all, I wanted for myself. And then look, it got the little. Can y'all see that? It's so cute, the big strap. I got her this because um, she does not really like to carry purses all the time because I guess her arm, her shoulder be hurting her, she said, you know, oh age. She's just getting older. Now this was $29.99. She's just getting older and I thought this was perfect because it's real thin, small, tidy. It got the big strap. It's about to be the spring, summer time so she can literally carry this with everything. So yeah, that's what I got her. Now let's see if it fits. I wanted to get some, um, I got her a card today. She was with me, so I couldn't really do it. And y'all, it's so many people out. It's so many people. You know how I be feeling about everybody being out. I think I'm gonna put the clothes in one bag and put the accessories in another. I didn't even grab, I got some tissue paper in my room. I always keep a thing of tissue paper, but I wanted some decorative tissue paper, but um, I didn't see none. 
I didn't see none. Y'all, this is gonna be so cute. I know she's gonna be like, oh, you always get me clothes. You know, I can't help it. Y'all, this was perfect. This was a perfect fit in this little bag. So all of the clothes is in this bag. It fits perfectly. I thought I was gonna have to go out and buy me another bag. And then this is the bag. I thought it looked cute together. I got it from Target like three weeks ago. Cause I knew I, when I went to Walmart today, y'all, the bags, were, everything is picked over. Everything except for the card. So, the cards. Does this fit, y'all? This is such a perfect fit. Oh my goodness. It fits so perfectly. Oh, let me show y'all. Look how perfectly everything fits inside. Perfect. And then the jewelry and the perfume. It just slides into the shoes. Y'all, yeah. this is so cute. I talked to my brother this morning and asked him. I texted him last week the sale for Bath and Body Works. Uh, I talked to him this morning. I was like, hey. Did you get something from uh, mom for Mother's Day? He said, no. No? What you mean, no? He says, I hadn't had time. Oh, okay. Well, make time because it's on Sunday. He says, I, I know I will. Oh, okay. Don't be my mom. You better get her something. You had time. Yeah. Uh, he had time. He had time. He just went to Atlanta the other day. No. He had time. You better make time. Anyway, so I got some PR. I don't know who this is from. I don't know what this is. Um, is that a bag? I'm like, I know I didn't order no bag. It's gotta be a PR package, because who is this? Oh, y'all, it's not a PR package. Because I was like, what is this? Y'all ordered these bags from Sheen. What did it say? Purple and lilac. It just looked like a PR type of box. I have a card. Thank you so much for choosing purple and lilac. Yes, this definitely was given um, PR. Because I was like, is this a PR? I don't know what this is, child. Because I did not order this. Maybe this is just something they give you as a gift. This little straw thing. I mean, it's cute for what it is. But it ain't all that. But yeah, it's cute. I was like, who did sent me a bag? Okay, so this is what I ordered from Sheen. I ordered this for my birthday, y'all. This little bag. I got the black one, and then I went ahead and ordered the white one and the green one. No, I got the black one from Zara. That's where I knew I... And really, Zara's was on sale for $29.99, so I ordered it from Zara. These ones right here were $17. Now, I got a good mind to take that $29 one from Zara back because they look just identical. If not, this one looks a little better. This one a little smaller than the one from Zara, but she's so, she is so cute, y'all. Yeah, she's cute. So she's supposed to go with my little outfit. Oh, that's gonna go perfect. That is gonna go so perfect. Then I got the green one. Oh, let me see. Let's get into this green. Y'all. And <laughs> you know green. Me and green go together real bad. Okay, so both of them are cute. Y'all ordered me another little set. This the top. So the top go like this and it kind of like drops down. Hold on. So the top go like this and it drop down. She cute, okay. Okay. And here go the skirt that goes with it. Oh, she's about to eat. The skirt is like a little scrunchy situation, you see, and long. Y'all, the outfit is about to eat. 
as though I'm about to be going out every day. I didn't buy all these outfits like I'm really about to be going somewhere. Okay, then I got this little top. This was just something to put with the um, linen skirt just in case the linen top didn't work out. I like this little vest or whatever. She's cute, y'all. Yeah, she's cute. Y'all, does this need to be the birthday outfit? Y'all. Yeah. Do you see the leg? Stop it. This is gorgeous. And the material, hold on, can you see me better right here? Y'all. I don't know. Look at the, look at the little, look at the look. Sis. This is cute. And I want to do my hair in a bob. So I think it'll be, I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time now. I don't know what to do now. I think this may be the fit for the birthday. This may be the fit. I was going with the green, but this definitely may be the fit. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Y'all, and this is a little sad. Ain't this like a little cute? I'm just walking around the house, do 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 with my little Reebok on. If I wanted to wear this out, I could, for real. Cause y'all, it's cute if I really, I got some uh, green, some dark green like this and black um, New Balances that'll match. I don't, I think I can wear New Balances and Reebok, can't I? I don't know, child, I don't know. But she cute, I got her pulled all the way up because I'm just uncomfortable with my stomach showing. Cause you know, I need to do a few crunches. But yeah, mm. mama was hating cause she cute. <laughs> Several days later. I look a mess. Okay. I meant to close out the vlog and I forgot. So we're gonna close it out opening up something else. This is the last thing that has came that is the pre-birthday stuff to get me together for my birthday. Because next week is my birthday. Next week is my birthday. Um, so yeah, I can't order and I've seen some more stuff that I want to order because again y'all I really don't know what I, what I'm doing. I know where I'm going, but I don't know like itinerary Itinerary wise like what I'm doing and where I'm going. I keep looking up stuff like I want to get a cute little Birthday picture of course and then I as well want to have like a cute little birthday dinner with my family So I don't know exactly where I want to go just yet so yeah, I just rather have a whole bunch of outfits. So I got some stuff from Fashion Nova. This box is like toe up. These, I hope these fit because I don't have time. What size did I get? A size nine, okay, that's good. Because I thought I got a size 10. But I got these little denim. Girl, aren't they cute? So these, I had a chance, these are Zara dupes. I had a chance to get them from Zara last year. And they only had them in a size 10 and they were too big. Oh yeah, these fit perfectly. They were too big because uh, on sale, they were on sale for $24. And yeah, oh yeah, these are perfect. Y'all, these are perfect. Yes, size nine fits me. But yeah, they're a Zara dupe. Zara wanted like $80 for the, for the shoe. And then they went on sale, like I said, for 24 and they only had a size 10. I got the size 10, but it was too big, so I couldn't keep it. Okay, and I got these pants. They're a Palozo. Is it called Palozo? Cause some, somebody tried to correct me, Palozo. Pal Girl, you, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, the hell? Anyway, so these the pants. Y'all, oh, these are cute. Hold on, let me try them on. Let me try them on. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to jump in them, but apparently Fashion Nova think everybody got a tiny waist because I'm barely getting them over this, you know, big old booty. <laughs> oh, okay, they're on. Once you get them over your butt, it's cool. Yeah, once you get them over your butt, it's cool, but it's the point of trying to get them over your butt. Okay, y'all see that? Y'all see them? Oh, I kind of got like a wedgie. I don't know, they kind of a little tight. The right underwear on 
it'll be cute because my underwear is bunched up. I got on um, some shorts, but oh, ooh. Anyways, that was the pants. They cute. While I'm sitting down, I don't know. It's a little tight. I don't know. And then my stomach is like, it's like it can't breathe. It can't breathe. It said, let me breathe. Anyways, I'm going to start doing some crunches and start working out. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Mm, probably not. But the idea sounds good. It sounds good. But I think really, for real, for real, I think I may hit a little one, two, hit a little, hit a little three sets of 10 per night. It's going to be, it's going to, my stomach will work down eventually, but I'm not in no rush because anyway y'all i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next vlog because next week it's my birthday we're gonna do like a little birthday prep because i need to get my nails done i already got my wig um so we're just gonna plop that one we're gonna get the fist together like you know put the jury in the back so they're like we're gonna we're gonna get ready so anyways i love y'all and bye